Hi, this is Dr. Abdul, physiotherapist. Welcome to my channel. Human anatomy, bone. What is bone? Let's talk about this in this video. Bone is an architecturally complex system that constantly undergoes structural, functional optimization in the form of renewal, repair, throughout the lifetime. So much so that in a few years of remodeling you constantly replace your bone to a new bone. Bone is a rigid body tissue consisting of cells embedded in an abundant hard intercellular material and the two principal components of this material are nothing but cal collagen and calcium phosphate which distinguish our bone from the other heart structures other heart tissues in our body and obviously the bone tissue makes up our skeletal system types of bones long bones short bones flat bones irregular bones sesamoid bones let's see one by one what are they long bones Long bones whose length are greater than their breadth and found in our extremities, that is nothing but in our limbs. Short bones, round, cuboidal in shape with four surfaces for articulation. The carpal bone of the hand and the tarsal bones of the foot are comes under the example for short bones. Flat bones, it is flat like a plate, example skull bone, sternum, scapula. Irregular bones. These are not in a distinct shape, that's why we call it irregular bone, example vertebrae, facial bone. Sesamoid bone, this bone is actually developed within a tendon sheath, example patella, that's why we call it as a sesamoid bone. Bone markings, very important, are nothing but the ups and downs, lines and ridges, dents and outgrowths, grooves and holes, etc, etc are found on any given bone in our body. And why are they? They are the structures formed on a bone as a result of muscle pull or to provide surface for the tendon and ligament attachment and also to protect certain vital structures like blood vessels and nerve. They are very important markings for studying and understanding the bone and overall anatomy. Bone markings. Let's see the bone markings one by one. Articulations where two bones mean to facilitate the functions of the articulation or the movement head of the bone prominent rounded surface at the upper end of the long bones which makes one part of articulation we call it as a head of the bone facet flat surface on the bone example vertebrae which form the facet joint with other vertebra condyle rounded structure which articulates the bone to another bone epicondyle Bony protuberance above or on the condyle of the long bone serves as a point for tendon or ligament attachment. Process is a bulging bony outgrowth of a larger bone, spine, sharp bony outgrowth of a bone, tubercle, small rounded process. Tuberosity, rough surface bony outgrowth. It is rough surface and it's a bony outgrowth. Lines, slight elongated ridge, crest is a prominent ridge, holes, holes and depressions you find on the bone and it's nothing but to make an entry and exit of the blood vessel and the nerve in the bone. Fossa, elongated basin type, fovea, small pit, sulcus, groove, canal, Passage in the bone, fissure, slit through bone, foramen, hole through bone, meatus, opening into a canal, sinus, air filled space in bone. So these are the bony markings which you need to learn to understand the bone and to overall understand the anatomy. Thanks for watching. Follow me at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and for any business related inquiry, contact me at dr.abdul.pt at gmail.com.